Hi guys, Trinity Faye here. Um, today I wanted to show you some of my favorite decks. Um, it's not a deck review, so I'm not going to go through all the pictures. Um, I think there's about nine or so decks here. But I wanted to show you some of the ones that I use most frequently that I find I connect with very well. First one I think everybody has in their tarot deck collection, and if they don't, they should. It is the Morgan Greer Tarot. I'll just show you a few cards from this deck. Pretty sure most people have this deck. If you don't, you really should get it for your collection. It's a great deck to read with. I mean, the colors really pop. The imagery is really really awesome um, it's a rider weight clone I would consider it and it's really really great for a beginner I mean the imagery is I like the way they do like an up-close look at the card itself can see that okay so that is the Morgan Greer tarot and the back of it looks like this okay then we have the crystal visions which is also another deck that I believe I did a video about beginner decks and this was one of them the crystal visions is a beautiful deck by Jennifer Glasso I use this deck a lot because when I do readings for clients or friends or family, I really enjoy this deck. I think it is superb. The coloration is very, very beautiful. Um, if you don't have this deck, I highly recommend it. This is another good beginner deck. It's the back. There's a lot of fairies in it. The pentacles are like, they look like candy to me. Or eyes. Okay. Another one of my all-time favorites that I've had for a while is the Everyday Witch. I love, love this deck. It's got lots almost every card has witches in it almost every one flip it down this way most people I like that it's borderless I really love borderless decks I don't know about the rest of you but sometimes even though I love like this deck for example and I'm not making fun of it because I truly truly love it this deck, I love, and because the colors are so wonderful, the border doesn't bother me, but there are certain decks that it bothered me so much that I either didn't use it or I cut the border out of it. Um, I'm sure most of you are familiar with the Everyday Witch. I'm just going to show you a couple more. As I said, most of the cards that people have witch hats or they're wearing witch hats it's a great deck if you don't have it it's a nice one to add to your collection one of my absolute favorite decks is the druid craft now this deck this deck I highly recommend probably should have even put this on my beginner um, tarot video because this one I would absolutely recommend for a beginner now this should have white borders around the edges I trimmed mine off and just left the bottom uh, some people will even trim the bottom off but I quite like the bottom it's not even about the names I know what all the cards are without looking at the names it's not that um, 
It's just that I like that stone. I don't know if you can see it, but it's going to look backwards on here probably, but um, it's like a stone finish on the bottom. It's really cool. Highly recommend this deck if you do not have it. Druidcraft Tarot is a very popular deck. It, this and my Celtic Tarot, I love. Um, I love my Celtic Tarot, but I didn't put it in here because I did a deck review on it already, and you've seen it. Um, as I said before, not, this is not really a deck review. I just wanted to show you some cards from each deck, okay? These are ones that I use frequently. So let me move on because, okay. This is Tarot in Wonderland. Now, so I'm getting a little bit of a glare here. Um, this is a beautiful deck. Okay, Tarot in Wonderland. If you don't have it, this is a fantastic beginner's deck. Look at the imagery here. I mean... Everything is depicted so beautiful. Tarot in Wonderland. I love it. I love Alice in Wonderland. And when I first saw this, um, I didn't even look at deck reviews. I just seen that it was coming out, and I was like, wow, this is that's cute. I love Alice in Wonderland. I have the little tin. Um, it's a different kind of a deck. It's a smaller Wonderland deck. And I was like, nah, I don't think I'm really going to connect with it. And I went into a metaphysical shop, and I saw it, and I fell in love with it. I had to have it. And I wound up using it quite frequently in my readings. This is the back. And with some tarot decks you can't tell when the card is like this. You can't tell when it's reversed. But as you can see Alice's face is at the top of the card. Okay. So let's get to some more decks and then okay if you've never heard of or seen the apocalypse tarot this was the sister deck to the illuminati um, I've seen people make videos where they did kind of a side-by-side with the Illuminati, this was the deck they created after the Illuminati. The Illuminati I also have. It's a very beautiful deck. The only thing that a lot of Seasons Tarot readers did not appreciate or really like was the fact that when they created the Tarot Illuminati, um, they kind of had to do last minute, I believe the artist was kind of recruited at the last minute and don't quote me on this because I could be wrong but um, I think it was like a little bit of a last minute cram at the end there and they made kind of a small guidebook so it wasn't super informational when they did this deck they did not gild the edges because in the other one um, there were a lot of issues with it rubbing off, but with this one, I don't know if you can see it, the edges are, they went, took the print so close to the edges that you don't really need it gilded anyway, and the guidebook is friggin' fantastic. It's real thick, and it's just great. That's the Eight of Cups. Anyway, you can't really see the names, the way I'm showing this, and I'm sorry for that, and there's a little bit of a glare, um, but these cards are beautiful. Look at that death card. 
That's Santa Muerte. Speaking of Santa Muerte. Now, I got the one in the little square box. I did not get the limited edition, so I bought my own little coffin box. Anyway, and I made my own tarot bag, which I do quite frequently. I just love to make my tower bags. Anyway, this deck, freaking love the Sugar Skulls. Love them. I love the use of what they did with them. With all the tens, they did moths. I think only one they did a butterfly. But... This deck, I wasn't going to get either. This was on my list of, hmm, decks. I'm not sure. I'm not positive if I'm really going to want this deck. Um, one of my clients came over to me, and she said, what do you think of this deck? I just picked it up. I'm trying to do some reflection, and um, I want to know what your thoughts are. And I looked at it, and I was like, my God, I love it. It's fantastic. Yeah, use it. And um, I wound up going and getting a copy myself because I fell in love with it. These are the ones, because I know you can't really see the way I have the camera. This is the three. And they're little skulls with little sprouts. Um, I love that. Man, I mean, look at it. All right. There are two quick decks that I'm going to show you. Um, real quick, because my video is getting a lot longer than I wanted. Um... And there's a reason I want to show them to you. You've seen one, okay? We have the Thelema Tarot, one of my absolute go-to favorite, favorite decks, okay? I edged the sides in black. Um, this, <clears throat> I've showed you this deck before in some of my videos. This is one of my all-time favorites, the Thelema Tarot by Los Scrabo. I love his work. I love his decks. I, I own quite a few of them. He's, like, one of my favorites. Um, anyway, this deck, I freaking love. But I've showed this to you in a deck review. So I'm not going to go through a whole bunch of the cards. What I am going to do is show you the sister deck. A lot of people do not know that this is the sister deck. It's called, now I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Arcanum is how I say it, and this is probably backwards, but um, this is the little book, just like the Thelema that comes with it. It comes in the same little box, okay? The backs are very similar. Matter of fact, let me get a couple of these to show you. Okay, you got your backs are very similar. Okay. Um, this is the Thelema. This is the Arcanum. Now, if you look at the cards, they're very, very similar, except the edge is brown in this one. The other one, it's green. Um... I have done, and I may do, I may do a video with a side-by-side -side of these so you can see the differences between the two. Um, so I'm not going to show you too many of the cards because I'd like to do that side-by-side. -side. But these are very, very close to the other ones, except I actually prefer this deck because even though I love my Thelema, um, there are certain cards in the Thelema that I don't really care for. And in this deck, there isn't any that I don't care for. Okay. 
So, here's what I was going to show you. A lot of people don't pay attention to this kind of stuff. So, first, there was the Thelema Tarot. I just showed you. Then I showed you the Arcanum. The next one that's coming is called the Millennium. The Millennium Thoth Tarot. So you got Thelema, Arcanum, Millennium Thoth. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. That is going to be the new deck, and I believe that comes out in, it says 2019 to 2020, that this one is coming out. So I will be adding that to my collection. Anyway, I just wanted to show you some of the um, the decks that I use frequently and that I absolutely adore. So thank you for your time. I hope this helped. Have a blessed, lovely, beautiful day. Bye, guys.